what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so over the weekend we found out who would be replacing brad dorf in the upcoming child's play remake from mgm uh many of you are familiar with his uh voice talents involving the joker from the batman series and his uh portrayal as luke skywalker in the star wars films yes the person that will be voicing chucky is mark hamill um uh, I personally think that because I I'm familiar with his voice acting work and I think he did a tremendous job as Joker on the Batman series. So I'm interested to see what he can bring to the table with another uh, villainous character this time in uh, this time a shorter villain, of course, uh, in Chucky. Uh, I feel like the decision that was made here with Mark Hamill was a safe decision in terms of not just bringing in someone who is like a newbie to the acting game or the voice acting talent. Uh, they brought in someone who's like a veteran when it comes to voice acting. They brought in someone who's well recognized, uh, someone who's appreciated for his uh, portrayal of Joker on the Batman series because keep in mind, there are still several people who do not want to see this Child's Play remake. Uh, they're, they're upset about it. They're staying loyal to what Don Mancini is doing. I personally do not have a loyalty in terms of I'm not going to see one over the other. I'm going I'm looking forward to what Don Mancini is going to do on the Sci-Fi Network and hopefully he can pick up his end of the series and bring it back to uh bring it back in a significant manner. Uh I feel like he has dropped the ball significantly since the release of Curse of Chucky which seemed like he was going back on the right path. And then we got Call to Chucky which was not an overall bad film, but it was kind of like meh just kind of like what you like it had shades of seed of chucky in it uh it was just kind of a meh movie it was i gave it a solid six out of ten with cults of chucky i gave that a six out of ten i'm interested to see what he does with the sci-fi series uh as far as what mgm is doing while i will forever be a fan i guess of what don mancini did uh i can still look forward to what mgm is going to do with their modern spin on it uh, I imagine that this new doll is going to have access to like an app which can control it, uh, an app where you can track its location or an app that allows you to do several other things with the doll besides just talking to it and then responding like we got with the original Child's Play. I'm just interested to see how they can up the ante from what we already got with the original film. Because that's, that's really what's going to be here. We're going to get... We're going to get a remake that hopefully builds on the mythos of what we already got not just a frame for frame remake telling us the same story and i'm glad that's not what we seem to be getting because this is going to be an ai doll it's not going to be possessed by a serial killer but i what i am interested to see is how if they will even explain why the chucky doll or why the buddy doll rather has this voice because mark hamill he's going to be doing the voice of the doll so i'm trying to understand if there's going to be like a logical reason in the movie as to why the, ch the doll will go from this voice to that voice did someone tamper with something it's just a lot of things that i want i hope the film answers in regards to the person uh the person that's voicing chucky i'm glad mark hamill was chosen uh i look forward to seeing what he does with this uh I know a lot of people still are not looking forward to this, but this is a perfect decision if you want to actually get people interested and put and put uh, people in the theater to go out and see the movie because Mark Hamill is well recognized for his portrayal of Joker. So those are my thoughts on the decision of the voice actor being Mark Hamill replacing Brad Dorff for the upcoming Child's Play remake. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the decision down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe or turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.